Iran finally respond to Israel last night. <laughs> Remember, say Iran promised say they go send millions of rain. We go fall for Israel. Iran did it last night. And as we they talk right now, Israel Aaron Drot intercepted so many of those rockets where they send go give Israel. Things are happening. This one will happen now, my brother, my sister. <laughs> you know, go look well low because uh, things will begin to happen. Because Israel, we know Israel very well. Israel is not going to leave Iran for this. Israel will also respond again. But however, let's go into this matter. We'll go know how it did happen for inside this area. Welcome back to Balabas G's. Um, please share this video and make sure you subscribe to this channel for more updates. This now, wait, this is what is happening in um, Iran. Um, Iran responded to Israel last night. So I'm going to show you the video for you to watch and before we we'll come back and continue. Some friends, as you know, Israel is right now facing a massive attack. There are rockets fired above the Knesset of Israel. The skies in Jerusalem, they are filled with rockets, with Iron Dome. Um, Iran launched about 100 ballistic missiles at Israel, and therefore we saw a lot of um, parts of the nation right now in Israel that had rocket silence. That's of course on top of suicide drones that were launched hours ago. Um, they are expected to reach Israel um, early in the morning. The airspace in Israel is completely closed. Flights were turned around. I know of flights from Thailand that had to go back. Um, my wife and I are right now in the Netherlands. We um, don't know if we will be able to come back. Um, so please pray for uh, the nation of Israel. Right now, my family is spending the night in, in the... A lot of Israelis are having a sleepless night. Many, many rockets were intercepted. The IDF reported that 99% of the rockets were intercepted. Um, that's of course, goes to say that 700 rocket alarms were taking place in Israel. Um, there were rockets that fell inside Arab towns uh, like Um al Fahim. And um, I saw a report of a 10 year old Muslim Bedouin that was injured. Um, so clearly, you see that Iran does not care. The Islamic regime does not care if they hit Muslims. Uh, all they care about is to target uh, Israel, to target Israelis. They want the destruction of Israel. But what we see is that Iranian people. The people in Iran are actually asking and wanting to see the victory of Israel over this regime. They want Israel to topple the Islamic regime in Iran. Um, and it's something that's very important for you to notice this important fact um, that the people in Iran are not the enemy of the people in Israel. Iranian people want victory for Israel. And I'm as, as I'm speaking to you right now, I'm also checking all the reports that we see. Um, I think all Israelis are right now um, not sleeping. Uh, but what's interesting is an interesting fact is that several Arab countries, they like Jordan, Jordan uh, not only said that they're going to intercept rockets, but they intercepted several of the rockets that were launched towards Israel. So, um, of course, Jordan and Israel have a peace agreement. That doesn't mean that Jordan and Israel does not have these agreements, but um, Jordan stood uh, on the side of, of Israel, intercepted rockets that were directed towards Israel. Several Arab countries said that they are going to intercept also suicide drones that were launched towards, towards Israel. Um, that goes to say on top of the uh, United States, Britain, uh, saying that they are going to use their military capabilities to uh, intercept drones as well. Um, Israel, the cabinet is meeting as we speak right now. They are meeting and they said that they are going to respond very harshly towards this act of aggression from the United States. Um, I read right now that the uh, US Embassy in Israel told its workers to stop all its work and to be in, uh, in bomb shelters right now. 
Um, so it's extremely dramatic. This is the first time that we see Iran directly firing rockets at Israel. Um, I don't want to call it World War III. I don't want to call it the end times because um, there are a lot of war warmongers out there. But um, we need your prayers, basically. We need our friends today more than ever. I spoke um, today in front of over a thousand people in the Netherlands that prayed with me for Israel. Um, they're very, very supportive. And I, I, it's so encouraging to see that Israel is not alone. So I ask you to show your love for Israel. Show Israel that we are not alone. Um, the, when the enemies are targeting us, they're uh, targeting you as well. And it's important that we stand together. Um, the IDF spokesperson is, is, is giving reports right now. Um, the, the, there were even, um, the rocket fire was even documented from the Mount of, uh, the Temple Mount. So it's, it's, um, very dramatic night that we're having right now. Uh, we have to finish off evil. You can't make peace with evil. You, you destroy evil. And, um, that's, that's what I've been saying. Uh, Israel is going to stay no matter whether our enemies like it or not. So I ask for your prayers. Please make sure that you share this clip with your friends and family right now so they can get on their knees and pray. Um, this is what we Israelis are doing as well, praying for peace and for victory over evil. Okay, after this, then the military chief of Israel have come aside to say that Iran will pay for this and they will respond very shortly to Iran. I want you to also watch this video where he's saying it. Iran funds, trains and arms terror proxies across the Middle East and beyond. Iran backed Hamas started this war on October 7th. Iran backed Hezbollah, expanded this war on October 8th. And since then, Iran backed militias in Iraq and Syria and Iran backed Houthis in Yemen have expanded this into a global conflict. Iran is the world's biggest state sponsor of terror. Its network of terror doesn't just threaten the people of Israel, Gaza, Lebanon and Syria. The regime in Iran fuels the war in Ukraine and beyond. Iran will bear the consequences for choosing to escalate the situation any further. Israel is on high alert. We have increased our readiness to protect Israel from further Iranian aggression. We are also prepared to respond. The Israel Defense Forces prepared for all scenarios, and we will take the necessary steps, together with our allies, to protect the people of Israel. Yes, my people, welcome back as I have watched that video. So, <laughs> as it be like this now, you don't read for the matter. But however, I wanted to share this video so that other people will know what thing they go on. Because this thing, where it just happen like this, is not going to be easy. Remember the time of um, Hamas attack um, this in Israel? It's never be easy for the Palestinians. But the the worst part of it is this this uh, whole issue. The Muslims should be wise for once, because you if you know that you are not capable to defend yourself, don't go and attack somebody that is bigger than you. This is the issue. When Hamas uh, when Hamas did their own everybody, yes, he's shouting this one that one. Prepare yourself very well before all this kind of thing. Now you watch what will happen in iran shortly just watch what will happen in Iran shortly, because israel is going to respond and do you know where we are going <laughs> now three ww three that's where we, we are we are going and this is not gonna be easy for everyone so please share this video and make sure you subscribe to this channel we'll see you in the next update any more updates we are going to bring it across